Grace Jeanette with the Muncie Public Library, and I want to welcome you to our Billy Goat's Gruff Story Time. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about our summer reading that has started. And you can log on to our website, MuncyPublicLibrary.org, and look there for Imagine Your Story. Or you can download the app Read Squared and select Muncie Public Library and get registered there. And it's for all ages. Anyone can sign up and um, and have great fun reading this summer. So my story I have today is called The Three Billy Goats Gruff. And this is about three brothers here that are looking for to go across this bridge to get to the other side that has delicious green grass. But under that bridge lives this mean troll. And let's see about their story and how they get across that bridge. This is The Three Billy Goats Gruff by Stephen Carpenter, and thank you, Harper Collins, for allowing us to read this today. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats, and the name all of the billy goats were named were Gruff. The three billy goats lived in a valley where there were very little grass. And they were very, very hungry, and they wanted to go up to the other side of the meadow of green grass and daisies, where they could eat and eat and eat and get fat. But on the way up there, there was a bridge over the river, and under the bridge lived a mean, ugly troll. Do you see where that mean, ugly troll is? Does anybody see where it's? He's right in there. First, the youngest Billy Goat Gruff decided to cross the bridge. You see that there? Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? roared the troll. <gasps> oh, it is only the teeniest little Billy Goat, said the first Billy Goat Gruff in his very small voice. I'm on my way to the hillside to make myself big and fat. No, you're not, said the troll, for now I'm going to gobble you up. Oh, please don't eat me. I'm too little. Wait for the second billy goat. He's much bigger. Okay, well then go ahead, said the troll. All the while, the second billy goat gruff came across the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap went the bridge. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? roared the troll. The second billy goat gruff and I'm the second billy goat gruff said, I'm the second billy goat gruff and I'm on my way to the hillside to make myself big and fat, said the billy goat. And in his voice was not so small. No, you're not, said the troll. For now, I'm going to gobble you up. Oh, please don't eat me. Wait for the third billy goat. He's much, much bigger. Well, then go ahead, said the troll. And by now, he was getting very, very hungry. <gasps> that troll is getting hungry. Just then came up the third billy goat gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. The third billy goat gruff was so heavy, the bridge groaned and creaked under him. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? roared the troll. It is I, the third billy goat gruff, cried the billy goat, and his voice was big and as loud as the troll's. At last, said the troll, now I'm coming to gobble you up. Well, come along, said the three billy goat in his big voice. I've got two big horns and four hard hooves, and I'm not afraid of you. So up climbed that mean, ugly troll, and the big billy goat butted him with his horns and stomped on him with his hooves, and he tossed him right off the bridge and into the river below. Do you see he fell right there? So then he went up to the hillside to join his brothers 
in the meadow, and the billy goats got so fat, they could hardly able to walk home again. In fact, if you went there, you'd probably still see them there. So snip, snap, snout. This tale is told out. That is the story of the three billy goats gruff in pictures by Stephen Carpenter. And thank you, HarperCollins, for giving us the permission to read this story. All right, we, my friends, we are going to do the three goat song, which is sung to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. So if you would like to join me, you could stand up. First, we're going to do If You're Hungry and You Know It, Cross the Bridge. If you're hungry and you know it, cross the bridge. If you're hungry and you know it, your belly's gonna show it. If you're hungry and you know it, cross the bridge. If you see an angry troll, tell him to wait. Hold on. If you see an angry troll, tell him to wait. Hold on. Tell the troll to wait, cause your brother has more meat. If you see an angry troll, tell him to wait. Hold on. If you see an angry troll, tell him to wait, you'll see. If you see an angry troll, tell him to wait, you'll see. Tell the troll about your brother, he has more meat like no other. If you see an angry troll, tell him to wait, you'll see. If you're hungry and you know it, cross the bridge, trip, trap. If you're hungry and you know it, cross the bridge, trip, trap. The troll went home crying, cause the big goat sent him flying. So if you're hungry and you know it, cross the bridge. Yum, yum. Good job, my friends. So this next story I'm going to read to you is called Through with the Zoo by Jacob Grant with permissions from Macmillan Company, publishing company. And in this story, this is about a little goat here, right here. And he has always dreamed of finding a space of all, all by himself. The problem is, is he lives at a petting zoo where there's always grabby hands and hugs from all the kids that visit him every day at this petting zoo. So let's see if our goat finds a special place all of his own. Through the Zoo, Through with the Zoo by Jacob Grant. Goat always dreamed of having his own space. He didn't want hugs or rubs or anyone near him. But Goat lived in a petting zoo. Every day, the small petting zoo was packed with grabby little hands. Oh look, he's not very happy. Goat looked out at the other animals in the big zoo, so safe from the wild children. He would find a space out there just for him. There he goes, he jumped right out of his area. He tried living with the very clingy koala. He tried living with the very nosy elephant. Oh no. Goat tried living with many other animals. Yes. But space was not easy thing to find. Finally, Goat's search brought him to a lone tree. It was a quiet place that he could be all on his own. Goat had more space than he had ever dreamed of. But was it too much space? He looked all around and knew that no one could get near him anymore. No little faces, no little hands, and no little hugs. All that empty space was missing something. Hmm, wonder what's missing. Goat never thought he would ever miss the petting zoo. There he goes, running back. But everyone needs a hug 
now and then. Whenever Goat wanted a little space, he knew just where to find it. There he is. I'm sure some days you feel like you want your own space, and that's okay. That's all right, because you could give a hug when you want to. And that's the story of Through with the Zoo by Jacob Grant and Permissions by Macmillan Publishing. All right, my friends, I thought we would do a action rhyme with the three billy goats gruff. And I actually have three billy goats right here. I have the big brother, the medium size, and the little billy goat. And I also have the mean troll. And where does that mean troll live? Right under the bridge, yes. So this is an action rhyme, and then I will show you how to do it at home without the puppets. So it goes like this. Trap, trip, trap, billy goats three. Hide by the bridge so the troll won't see. The troll walks by and they jump up and say, leave out alone. And the troll runs away. So that is the three billy goats rhyme there. But I'm going to show you how to do it at home. So you can hold up your three fingers like this, and then we're going to march. Trip, trap, trip, trap, billy goats three. Hide behind the bridge so the troll won't see. When the troll walks by, jump up and say, leave us alone. And the troll runs away. All right, my friends, you may have already picked up a Storytime craft kit, and in there you should have the Billy Goats craft in there. Um, if you haven't picked one of those up, give us a call at the Marion Hunt location or the Kennedy branch and see if we have any left. Those are while supplies last. So in your kit, you should have a brown paper sack, a glue stick, two ears, two horns, two eyes, a mouth, and a nose. And this is how you put together your goat craft. So right here with our brown paper sack here, you first what you're going to do is you're going to take your ears right here and you're going to see this dotted line here. You're going to fold it right over just like that where you have one ear. And then you take the other one and fold it over like so, like that. So you have two ears. And then you're going to glue those on the top like so. And then you should also have two horns in there. Those glue right up like there. And then your eyes go right here. And then you should have a mouth that you glue right inside underneath here and a nose just like so. So we're going to take our glue right here and we're going to put a little glue right here and stick our ear on there like so. Some over here and glue that down just like that. And then we have our horns. And you can do this any um, order you would like. You can do it this way, or you can do the eyes on first. But you glue those on, and then you glue on some eyes here. You can put them up high, put them down low, however you feel. And then we're going to glue, put some glue right on here. And glue that right under here and your mouth or your nose sorry your nose your nose just goes on just like so try not to glue it down on this side or you won't be able to open your puppet so just put it the glue right in this area so it's able to flap so there is your goat craft, and then you can 
um, put your hand in it and open it up and it can go bah, bah. <laughs> so that is our goat craft Thanks, my friends, for listening to the Three Billy Goats Gruff Story Time. We have lots of different versions at our library. Here's just a couple. We have a new book called The Three Billy Goats Buenos, which is a Spanish version of The Three Billy Goats Gruff. And we also have a silly The Three Billy Goats Fluff, which is a really fluffy version of The Three Billy Goats Gruff. So I hope you enjoyed our story time of Three Billy Goats Gruff.